I was in a Burger King on a Friday night not too long ago, and the guy in front of me in the line was being horrible, which was an understatement. And he got to the front and um, drunkenly asked for a cheeseburger with cheese. At which point the uh, Burger King attendee quite reasonably said, well, a cheeseburger comes with cheese, do you want extra cheese with that? At which point the guy started giving out, oh, you fucking, no, 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 no. Horrible to watch, and it made me think about the way we behave in places like Burger Kings on Friday and Saturday night, and quite annoyed, I wrote this piece. If you absolutely must punch people in the face on Courtney Place, track down and smack down those fuckers without a trace of respect for others. If we must live in a world where fists are hurled wantonly, I want them to be aimed correctly, directly, into the lips of those who think it's the big thing to give lip to the kid at the counter of Burger King. See, I don't care if when tempers flare you blacken the eyes of guys whose hands straight are thighs, uninvited or start fights with uninsighted slight hits like like having biceps gives you a license to behave like a cock. No. <laughs> Fuck off. Basic please and thank you etiquette should be prerequisite for gym memberships. And I say this shit. I say this shit because I got a mate with a metal plate in his face just above the eye and that shouldn't happen to good guys and I think why and it seems to me people are frustrated with their lives and after a shot or five of tequila and lime on top of the double preloaded bottles of wine we become animals. And I'm no zoologist but I know about getting pissed and it's a shame but so long as testosterone is inflamed by 40% spirits coursing the veins this culture of violence isn't going to change. And perpetrators, perpetrators don't have much support. There will be no applause. That said, there are some jaws out there I care more about than others, and the ones that utter obscenities, mutter unpleasantries at barmaids and the drivers of taxis. I have limited sympathy when you're picking up your teeth from the corner of Cuba and teach you some manners street. <laughs> I like a drink as much as the next man, but you know what, man, you are no man. If in order to feel like a man, you revert to ripping on the Burger King kid who's been working a Saturday night shift uh, for hours on end to make ends meet, you sad little man, I'd have gone with you to the street that night, kicked you off your feet that night, put my fist through your cheek that night, all you bar brawlers, you cat callers, you late night daughter stalkers, we are in some way aligned because I have the same aggressive recess at the back of my mind and I'll offset it by telling myself I'm a good person and I don't know but the one thing I'm certain nothing your whiskey, your vodka, your bourbon is an excuse that Burger King boy did not deserve your abuse I don't regret the fact you'd have been smacked if it wasn't for Andrew Coote so we are all in the gutter but some of us are looking at the moral high ground I will still sound the rally for the mild-mannered vigilante checking the manners of the man-hammered ordering a cheeseburger with cheese. So if our paths cross again, have another crack, bitch please. <laughs>